You asked for it. Well, maybe not you specifically, but here we are. We're going to do this. We're going to sit here and scroll through everything. I'm going to show off everything about the roster as it currently stands in the NHL 19 as of the August 31st update. It is the most recent update available in the game at this point in time through EA Access. And you know what here, before anybody asks, I'll show you the top players in the free agent list of the very least. But I am going to scroll through every team alphabetically through every goddamn league so you can check any team you want for potentials, overalls, etc., etc., etc. It's going to be a journey. Now, normally I do this for uh, the old roster editing spectacular, which, of course, an update on that. I'm not doing that at the beginning of NHL 19. I've talked about this before. I'm going to be saving that for when their after opening day roster comes out. So keep that in mind, all right? I'm going to be doing that for when the opening night roster is available because they will be adding in players that I just honestly don't feel like adding in. They'll be updating player pictures and all of that stuff. So yeah, we'll be doing that eventually, but not at the beginning. So like I said, we'll be going through this alphabetically. If you want to look at any player in particular, any team in particular, you can kind of scroll through and judge as to when we go through those teams. Uh, I do not expect, as has happened in the past, I do not expect anybody to uh, timestamp this in the comments because they would be outright ridiculous to do so. But if somebody does, you're a hero, a legend, and a scholar, and I love you <laughs> for making it easier for everybody else. The thing to keep in mind, of course, no red, uh, no, no color coding really on the potentials. Of course, there is the slight difference in the, uh, in the brightness there of that. But just keep that in mind, of course. You can tell who's high potential, who's medium, and who's low. It's just not as defined as it was previously. So like I said, obviously to sit here and scroll through everybody. We're not going to be able to go in-depth as far as, oh, look at this guy, look at that guy. But for those of you who have been asking, and it's been a lot of you, oh, can I see this roster? Can I see that roster? This video is for you. <laughs> so we will go through this. Um, I have plenty of other videos up on the channel as well. I'll point that out as far as information about NHL 19. And if you have any questions, concerns, whatever else, let me know down in the comments below and I will help you out. I'll answer whatever the hell I possibly can. Now, I know one of the things coming out of this, of course, will be the debate of, oh, well, what do you think about this guy's overall or this guy's potential? I'll say this. It's uh, well documented, of course, my history with editing rosters. I'm probably more experienced with editing rosters than I am with editing or with actually playing franchise mode. Those are obviously my two go-tos in terms of what I do on NHL. Not that I don't, you know, play ESHL or Ultimate Team or anything like that. But those are my two go-tos. Am I ecstatic about where this roster currently is? Do I agree with every overall and every potential? No. But I am hopeful, of course. You know, my opinion will be out there. As mentioned, you know me, I'm not... Afraid to share my opinion. I'm not afraid to make a two-hour roster editing spectacular where I'm like, hey, look at the ridiculous amount of stuff that I changed because it's necessary. I'm not going to be afraid to share that opinion again this year, of course. It's going to happen. Um, although, obviously, you know, I, I try not to be too harsh because, you know, there are certain aspects, of course, that they can't help. There are certain players that they simply don't have the rights in to add. Of course, there might be certain players here uh, that aren't in the game and you're wondering where they are and they might be added in. Uh, I think the big thing right now, you know, some people are disappointed that Kovalchuk's not an ultimate team to start things off, but of course he hasn't played an NHL game in a while, so you know, you gotta get the rights back for that and everything. He is here by default, picture and all, from the Devil's era. So, yeah, roster editing spectacular. My opinion on the roster, overalls and potentials, especially for certain prospects and stuff like that. We'll get to that in time. Uh, if you want to know my opinion on, you know, if you see a prospect or a player here and you're like, man, should they really be that good or why are they so underrated? If you want to know my opinion on that, then sure, I'll be glad to, uh, I'll be glad to answer that. But for this video, I'm going to try to avoid it because you know me, I get to be uh, a little bit rant heavy at times, only a little bit though. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and see what's up, but... 
I thought to myself, like, do I just want to be lazy and sit here and put, like, some weird backing vocal track on this or music? I might, to be honest, actually, through the rest of the leagues. Now that I think about it, that's a tremendous idea. Just put non-copyrighted music through this, and then that way I don't have to talk for the next half an hour, especially when I have nothing to talk about. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. So for the NHL teams, I'll, I'll sit here and continue to rant and ramble for a little bit. But anything beyond that, I'm going to uh, save myself the time, the strength, and the energy. And uh, we'll just put on some sweet-ass music. Uh, but for now, I don't know. I'm intrigued to see what people think here. Like I said, it's a little bit tough. A little bit tough to hold my tongue. Um, th th there's some I agree with, though. There's some I agree with. I'm not saying that this Ross, it's the worst state for any NHL roster I've ever seen, ever. Uh, not quite. Not quite. There are some things I disagree with, but like I mentioned, we'll get to that in due time. Proveroff at an 84, though. I do feel like that's going to be somewhat controversial. Drew still being listed as a center. I feel like that still might be somewhat controversial. It needs work at the very least, but I'm confident that if I... If I moan enough about it, we might be able to have it lead towards some change. And I'd say certainly to the interest that you guys have shown in previous years for uh, roster editing spectaculars. Of course, how we've streamed roster editing, as crazy as that is. If we put up a big enough fuss about it together, uh, we might be able to help things out. Of course, with roster sharing not being a thing as well, uh, there is that much more importance to actually have everything be as close to accurate as possible. Especially, too, in franchise mode this year when you, you know, when there's that emphasis. And they talked about this in the franchise mode deep dive video, especially now with the team depth charts, the AI supposedly being smarter and knowing what their team needs. If you have certain players, certain prospects <clears throat> that are a tad bit underrated, and it leads to those players being somewhat irrelevant to those teams, that can affect how the AI approaches team building. That can affect whether or not, of course, they look to draft a defenseman or another forward. If that, as opposed, say it's a forward, right? Screw it. Let's just say, I don't know, it's Sebastian Ajo and he's underrated. Maybe the Carolina Hurricanes or the New York Islanders, for that matter. But maybe the Carolina Hurricanes end up taking another forward instead of that defenseman. Although they don't need defensemen. You get the point. You get the point. It's important to be on the mark with everything like this so we'll see how this shapes up how the roster shape up throughout nhl 19 but hopefully hopefully uh, as we continue on with this game we can end up seeing things improve i will note as well of course for franchise mode you might want to remove guys like clarkson and horton in real life they end up getting put on ltir anyway uh johan franz is another one on detroit hell you could probably even move zetterberg or maybe even Maybe even Ryan Kessler off of Anaheim, just because it's not looking like they're going to be around. They'll probably be LTIR, Marion Hosa as well. Uh, so you could look to do that as far as some early roster editing. That's going to be my main suggestion to you. Not just because I live in the state. Uh, but with that, we are pretty much good to go. So from here on out, I'll say thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped you if you wanted to know anything. Again, I'm going to scroll through the rest of these leagues. I'm just not going to talk because holy shit my jaw. So I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.